Cause I knew you were trouble when you walked in To shame on me now you took me to places I've never been Now I'm lying on the cold hard ground Whoa! Whoa! Trouble, trouble, trouble Everybody, my name is Jeremy. Today I was thinking about talking about Facebook and the ridiculousness that is now the Facebook hashtag. Facebook hashtag. That's what happened out of my mouth just now. Facebook to me is like that annoying kid in high school that is not popular but desperately wants to be popular and does everything that they can to become popular. So in other words, Facebook is Rachel Tice. One, Facebook has now implemented a hashtag system into status updates. Now you can do all your needless hashtagging that you could do normally on Twitter on Facebook. Two, you can now add emotions to your Facebook statuses. Is this MySpace? <laughs> Did I get dropped into a time vortex and sent back to MySpace? That was going to be the original talking point of my video and I was going to spend more time ranting about it. But then on a completely unrelated note, I started thinking about how there is a severe lack of videos on YouTube about awkward boners. And I know at this point, if you weren't already deterred from the video title, you have now clicked out of it. But hear me out for just a minute. I follow a smattering of female vloggers on the internet, and I follow a bunch of girls on Tumblr, and I'm constantly seeing health and beauty and makeup videos and tips and tutorials, and not that all women are into those things, but it's something that is a common factor that a lot of women are interested in. There's women's issue videos, there's like issues of monthly gifts. There are so many things that girls have in common with other people and you all are willing to talk about it. There, however, are not enough males, I think, on the internet that are willing to talk about male things without making it explicitly sexual. I went on Tumblr and I searched the tag Awkward Boner and I ended up with dick pics and that's not what I was going for. I was trying to find interesting stories or funny stories and I even YouTubed Awkward Boner and I found a really, really funny video so if you feel like being entertained and having something more entertaining than what I have to say, then you should click the video that's in the link below because I was giggling hysterically while watching it. First off, Boners are something that are completely normal and natural that every single guy in the entire world has to deal with and sometimes, I would argue about 80% of the time, it is not even having to do with something sexual. Like, the wind blew the wrong way. They could have tripped on a pebble. They could be like, walking down the street and then smell a burger and then get a boner. Like, there's no rhyme or reason why a guy gets a chub. It just happens. It's blood flow. And yet, girls freak out and think it is the most disgusting thing when a guy gets a boner out of nowhere. There's something called morning wood, and that is when a guy has a boner in the morning. The very first thing that a guy usually has to do when he gets up out of bed is to go pee. And the reason why he probably has a boner is because his prostate has been rubbed against by those tubey things that make the pee come out. I'm not a biologist, so I don't know these things. And so he just gets one. And girls are disgusted by morning wood and by early boners, and they just don't understand why a guy just gets it. But again, the natural, normal thing that everyone goes through, and it's perfectly okay if a guy gets a boner in the middle of just talking to you. He may not be thinking, oh, I want to tap that. He may be thinking about what he's going to have for lunch, and then all of a sudden, it just happens. When a guy gets an out-of-nowhere boner, it's not showtime, it's the credits before the movie. It's like the preview of what the movie could be like if the movie was going. I've only had a couple of awkward boner experiences in the middle of public, and one of those times I really had to pee, and I was in the middle of this big group presentation for working at Target and we were all sitting in the middle of this giant room and it was hot and we didn't get a break for like another hour and I was sporting a chub the entire time. Finally the session lets out and everyone's getting up and leaving and I just had to sit there for a little while 
and take my little folder and put it down in front of me and walk and kind of like shuffle out of the room to find the bathroom. And then I had to hide in a stall for a couple of minutes until it went away for enough time for me to go pee without having to pee all over the walls. Peeing with a boner is like telling someone to hold a pen in their non-dominant hand and then turn their wrist upside down and sign their name. Try it. I know this video was awkward and it was everywhere and it was nowhere at the exact same time, but again, it's something that I think doesn't get talked about enough, so I might as well embarrass myself and talk about awkward boners and have a springboard for people to talk about stuff like this. Not like there's many things that guys do that's in common to each other, but that's, that's me and that's my story. That's my video. Thanks for putting up with it. Thanks for putting up with me. If you would like to share an awkward boner story of yours, you are more than welcome to share that in the comments below. And I will see you guys all again next time. Thanks for putting up with me. Peace out. Itikimasu. Cool. Hashtag this, hashtag video, hashtag is, hashtag very, hashtag stupid.